Today's video is about how you can predict the structure of the polymer if you're given the structure of the monomer. We're going to do two examples in this video, uh, starting with chloroethene and then moving into propene, which people find kind of tricky. So let's get started. This is chloroethene. Chloroethene can be made into a polymer because it contains that double bond that's super reactive that allows it to become an addition polymer. So the first thing that we do in changing this into its polymer structure is we break open that double bond to leave the kind of half bonds on either side ready to link up to other chloroethenes. If I imagined, the second step, that I've got three of these that have all opened up their double bonds, then you can see how they would join together to make this big, long, continuous chain. Again, notice that I've got the little sticks out either side showing that the structure can continue. In this red box shows the repeating unit. So that's the bit of the structure that I can repeat again and again and again, um, showing that the structure is basically ongoing forever. This is the structure for propene, which can also be converted into an addition polymer. This one is the one that people find most tricky, so let's take it nice and slowly. The first thing that we do, as normal, is break the double bond open. But this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out the two carbons that were in that double bond first, because they're the two carbons that now have space to add on new bonds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add on to each of these carbons what was bonded to them originally. So the carbon on the left has two hydrogens bonded to it, and the carbon on the right of the double bond has a hydrogen and a CH3 group. So that CH3 group is not part of the polymer backbone. It's kind of a branch. It sticks out because it's already full. There's no way that it can bond to anything else and it's not going to lose one of its hydrogens magically. Okay, so if I draw out another one of these repeating units, you can see they join together because they both have the half bonds. And then you've got the sticks out the side showing that I could add more on. We call this polypropene, just adding the word poly in front of the monomer name to name the polymer. That last propene example is probably about as hard as it gets in IGCSE. So if you understand that one and how it works, then you are good to go.